Here we are with our Math 1350, Chapter 3, Section 2 homework assignments. Remember, this little symbol there means the cardinal number. Ah, since we were talking about the union, there's a formula. The union of A of any two sets is you take the cardinality of the first number plus the cardinality of the second number and minus their intersection. So the union cardinality of union AB is how many, how many elements are in A plus how many elements are in B and you subtract what they have in common. A intersect B. This is what they have in common. So what we have here, we want to know what the union that is. So A union B will become cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A intersect B. So we have cardinality of A is 5. Cardinality of B is 11, and where they intersect is 3. So 5 plus 11 is 16, minus 3 is 13. So the answer is C. All right, so... Decide whether or not the set is closed under addition. If I take no, 0 plus 0 is 0, that's inside there, so it's closed. It's okay. Closed means it works. not closed means it doesn't work. Like this one. The set 0 and 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Again, these numbers are in the set, but 1 plus 1 is 2. That's not in the set, so it's not closed. Decide whether or not the set is closed under addition. I'm using n is an element of the natural numbers, remember the counting numbers, and n is greater than or equal to 47. So n can be anything from 47, 48, 49, and so on and so forth. So if I take, let's try the smallest, 47 plus 47 is 94. Is 94 in the set? Yes. 50 plus 98. 148. Is it 48? Yeah, that's in there. It's a counting number. So it's closed. Find the solution to the set W. Remember, set W is the whole numbers. 6 plus x equals six, x plus 6. Remember, that's the commutative rule. Now, if we solve for x, let's get rid of the 6's from both sides. We subtract 6. We get x equals x. So that means any number I put in there will, be, will work. So the set of all whole numbers. Use breaking or bridging to compute mentally. Uh, actually, I should have checked that out. Uh, I don't know what breaking or bridging is. I didn't. I never heard those parts before. But you know, this is let's say work this out. Nine plus nine is eighteen. K 
carry the 1. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 6 is 15. 158. That was A. Which property does this one illustrate? 2 plus 1 plus 4, 1 plus 2 plus 4. Well, the 4 is in the same place. These changed, so it's the commutative. Remember, commutative means to move. 465, 465, the only thing changes is the parentheses, so that's the associative. Round to the hundreds. So remember, look at the one to the, to the right. Since that's a four, if it's between zero and four, make everything zeros. So it's eight, eight, comma, eight, zero, zero. This is one ten hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million. So look at the million. So look at this one here. Since six is between five and nine, I add one to that one and make everything else behind their zeros. So nine plus one is zero, carry the one, so it's three with zeros behind it. So it's 30 million. Yeah, so everything, since you're rounding to this one, everything behind there will be zeros. Since that's a six, I add one to that. Nine plus one is 10, carry the one. Okay, uh, let's see what this one. So let's ra estimate this one by rounding. That's a six. So what do we have here? We have 6,500 or 66. Which ones do you, since these only have three spaces, we have to round to the hundred. That's a seven. This one becomes 66. You can only round, be as accurate as the smallest numbers. So we have to round it to the hundreds. And we look at the next one. So that's a seven between five and six. So we add one to that. Look at the one to the right. That's a one, so it's a 900. To the right, that's a nine, so we add one. So it's 1300. That's a five, so we add one, it makes it a 400. Let's see what number comes closest to so this one. Add up these. Six plus four. It's 10, 19, 20, 21, 22, 9. Which one's closest to 9,200? 9,000. Okay. A special domino set contains all pairs from 1,1 one, one to 9,9. Nine. with each pair counting only once. So one four, same thing as four one. How many dominoes are in the set? No, well, let's see. The smallest you can have here is one one. So the smallest you can equal is two. One comma one, you can equal two. The biggest equal, nine comma nine, is equals 18. And what's between there? It's between 1 and 9. Find out what the number is in the middle. So 9 plus 1 is 10. Divide by 2 is 5. So the middle set, 5, 5 and 5 equals 10. So these are all the other what they can equal. So, what else can equal a three then? A one and a two, and a not two and a one doesn't work. So, how about a four? One and a three, three and a one doesn't work, so two and a two. How about a five? 
You have one and a four, two and a three, three and a two, four and a three. So we can't use any more. How about a six? A one and a five, a two and a four, a three and a three. We can't use four and a two because it's already used. Okay, how about a seven? One and a six, two and a five, three and a four. You can't use four, three, because you notice what I'm doing here is so I'm increasing one, decreasing the other. Increasing one, decreasing the other to make it equal that that total set. Have one comma seven equals eight. But remember these, these die go from dominoes go from one to nine. Two six three five four four. One eight two seven three six four five five four can't use. Yeah, five five six four seven three eight two nine one. So you have five six six five you can't use four seven three eight. Two nine. That's all we can use there. Five seven. Four eight. Three nine. As high as we can go. Five eight. Six seven. Seven six. You can't go any further. What equals fourteen? Five nine six eight seven seven mm, I have six six okay so I have thirteen I have five eight Ah, we have four nine. Okay, five six seven. Okay, how about fifteen? Six nine. Seven eight. Eight seven. Two. Now we start repeating itself. Seven nine. Eight eight. Nine seven. Eight nine nine eight. Okay, what well, we notice here, each one of these come in pairs. Except the middle one. So these these only have one each. These only have two, these have threes. One, one two, two, three, four, four. Okay, here's one, two, three, four. This one has five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, two, one, one. Now, if we pair them up like this, they all equal five. Same thing over here. This equals five. Five, five, five. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times five is forty-five. So there are forty-five dominoes in the set. Right. Let's make, use what we know already. All right. Good luck.